This is the R17, and today I've brought it into Minecraft. This car was first built back in the 1950s as a New York City SME type subway car, running until the late 1980s. Today we're bringing it back with its 1970s old MTA paint job, or livery as some call it. The car itself was built for New York City's numbered subway lines, or its A division, or as some call it, the IRT lines. And now that we have this car in game, I can finally begin building numbered subway line stations again. Like the one line, a line that I was planning to build entirely but was seemingly abandoned when I made the switch to the immersive rail running mod. Because I had no rolling stock. Now I do. So, before we get into this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment and now let's get to riding the R17. There it is, the R17 in Minecraft in all its glory. Let's let's go ahead and pick it up, shall we? So here it is, R17. So the icon's a little messed up, but who cares? It uh, places just as we'd intend for it to. So we are back at Van Cortlandt Park here. This was the first station built in this world. So it is a bit wonky in uh, this current state because it had to be modified to fit these lovely vehicles. So you're going to notice with this station, a few things are a little weird. So uh, one of those being, and you're going to notice this theme in today's video. So the platform height varies, and that is because these were legacy stations. So a legacy station was built before I was using these trains. So that's all you need to know about that. Let's place our R17 down and uh it's awesome so it's very intuitive so this uses the immersive rail running mod as its base mod and i created the models so what you do is you just drop it onto the tracks and no i'm just kidding it doesn't spawn the whole train you place the train down like you would with any other block in minecraft right so there it is there's your r17 look at that just like the 1970s except without the graffiti and we can actually enter the train so there you go there are different ways you can enter the train, but I'll show you the other cooler way to enter the train once we place the entire train down and we have a look at the cab with the shaders on. So what you do is you just place the cars like this, and this is only one car, but I will add a second car for this, and when the second car is added, the doors will have full functionality. It should be, yep, right there, so that should be a 10 car train. We, uh, we need to set it up before we can drive it, right? Because we want to drive it with shaders on. So we need to get the train prepped. So there are some things that we need to do. So first of all, we need to enter the train. And what we need to do is we first need to turn the lights on. So it has that sound. And you can see its lovely interior. Look at that. Nice. Beautiful. I love it. And we can see through the lovely porthole windows. They do sort of block your view, but I don't mind. I, I like the vibe that we're getting inside this train. So let's go over to the cab. And uh, over here we have the cab. It's a bit incomplete. There's no chair. But there's a little red bird over there. But uh, yeah, so you have the cab here. And over here, this is where all the good stuff is. So we have the tail lights and the headlights. Uh, settle down kids and over here we have the door controls this is my favorite one so far you can see down the track a bit there was an R33 with the Redbird paint job over there but I like this one better I'm, I'm going to be honest guys I like this one better I love the the interior over here I like the interior and I love these windows and I just, I like the whole thing. It's just, it's so cool. Okay, so now our next step is I wanna drive this thing. Who doesn't wanna drive it, right? I wanna drive this thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on the shaders. Okay, so the audio did in fact cut out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dub this with a new narration. So here we can see the R17 now with the shaders. You can see that lovely old 50s interior there and that exterior as well as the sunlight. The sunlight, I love the shader sunlight. So now let's have a look at the train in action. 
So here I'm going to go ahead and close the doors so that the train can take off. So let me do my very best conductor voice. This is a Manhattan bound one train. The next stop is 238th Street. Now you can see we are leaving the station and you can see true to my promise it does actually have sound effects. As I mentioned before, this line is a very work in progress, but you can see a train needs its tracks and we have supplied the tracks for this video. So up ahead, we are going to pass by an R33 Redbird right there. Get a little interior view of that going by. As we make our way down the L, we head down this little slope and we approach the 100, I'm sorry, the 238th Street station. So this is 238th Street. We slow down and we make a bit of an overrun here, but it's tough to stop these perfectly, especially these IRT trains. There is not a lot of overrun leeway at many of these platforms. And you can see we do overrun a bit, but does that really count? Because the doors are still in the station, so I don't know if that's really an overrun. So this is a South Ferry bound one train. The next stop is 231st Street. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. You get another view down the elevated structure there. I did go ahead and use wooden tracks. Those were made by me for a separate project which never made it to YouTube. That was why I was gone for about a solid month. However, they came in handy here. I will eventually swap them out for the proper yellow scheme as we make our way down the hill here. You can see an exterior view of the train. As we arrive at 231st Street, quite quickly, might I add, this is 231st Street. As you can see, this one does need a platform upgrade. This is a South Ferry bound one train. The next stop is 225th Street, and I should be saying that it's a Manhattan-bound one train because I know we're in the Bronx. Sorry, it's just a bad habit of mine. What can I tell you? I'll work on it for next time. So now we head towards the turn to 225th Street which is actually in Manhattan, fun fact. Because of some territorial arrangements in the past, this section of the quote Bronx is actually Manhattan. And you can see the passenger side view as we make the turn. And then we make another turn as we go up this little slope and we make a bit of a left turn up ahead. And then I'm going to cut to a subway section so we can see what this thing is like underground. We are now in a South Ferry bound one train leaving 191st Street in the Minecraft map. And we are now going to get a, a bit of a bypass going here. So I set the other train up so that it would pass by us in the tunnel and you guys will get that cool sound effect when they pass by each other. It's caused by the track sounds overlapping and here it comes.
So I don't know if it's just me, but the underground section really reminds me of an old 70s film. It might be the lighting or it might just be the trains and their old 70s paint job and look, but I'm loving it. Here we arrive at 181st Street, so I'll do the announcement. This is 181st Street. And with that, we end this little video of the R17 in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know I am going to get a lot of enjoyment out of this subway car. I would like to remind you that unfortunately for the duration of this project, all models relating to the project are being kept private, so please don't ask about them in the comments. They are exclusively made for this series, and I will release them when the map is done along with the map, because where would you run them? If you enjoyed this video very much, then I'd like to ask that you leave a tip below with the super thanks button. It helps support the series and it helps pay for editing software, as well as paying for the server hosting. And on top of that, you would make my day. I am WebSoak, and I am saying goodbye. Thanks for watching.